All right, so how's it going guys? Today we're back on the 135 and we're gonna be upgrading the fuel pump um, to the stage two basically. So now we can run a higher concentrate of E85. Uh, right now we're currently on a E30 map on stage two. Um, but now with the new low pressure fuel pump, we'll be able to run E50, the E50 tune to be exact. And then I think in older versions of a MHD, you can probably run like an E60 or I think E70, something like that. Um, so this is a pump right here. I got it off of eBay for a hundred and um, I think $30. This is a legit one, as you can see. Uh, there's a lot of fakes out there. I had just bought a fake one, but this one's for sure real. You can see it says TI Automotive, which is the wall, bro. Made in USA. It has those little two dings right there which uh confirm that it's real a mark on top and it just feels high quality and these cables right here also feel good quality the one i had before this was terrible it was like cheap china and it also was but it but the funny thing is it said that it was from ti automotive but it, it was just fake um and then another way you know it's legit is the type of filter it comes with as you can see the cheap one came with uh, like a square one this one's like a awkward square this one right here is like a it even says a part number right here see and it's like a weird square it's like a cut off slanted uh, unlike the fake one I got it was just a legit like square and it, this one actually comes with a uh, some instructions and it even looks more legit I mean at least they put the packaging in a lot better uh, this hose though I don't know about this hose I'm gonna go with like a regular rubber hose but yeah that's that uh, and yeah let's get started the tools you're gonna need are uh, this fuel ring remover I got this off of Amazon for like 15 bucks I think it was and you're basically and you're gonna need it in order to remove the ring right here um and uh the first thing you want to do is obviously take off the seat which my seat is right there uh, the seat's really easy to take off you just pry on it from the bottom it has three clips it's just pop right off now the more uh, tricky part would be these uh this right here goes face down and it has four 10 millimeter bolts that go right here that's pretty easy to take off. Uh, disconnect the connections. They're just two tabs. Push them down and you pull it up. Now, uh, once you disconnect those two, uh, try to turn on the car. It'll run for a little bit. But once it runs for a little bit, it will die. And that's what you want. You want it to die so now there's no fuel pressure in the lines. Now you can remove these two lines. And then we can put that lock ring remover and take off this, this retaining ring that holds it together. So let's remove these uh, little lines real quick and let's see what happens. Okay, there's one line. It's just, it's just a little tab right here, you push it in. See? And then the same thing should be over the other side. Except for it has two tabs, one on each side. Okay, so the both hoses are off. Uh, these are kind of kind of be in the way. Try, just try to scoot them down. Don't bend them too much or else they are going to break. Um, so now that we have that removed, we can get our uh, tool, special tool. Alright, this is the special tool. Um, I just You can adjust this and then tighten it to how tight you want it. But you can see uh, it's right where I need it to be. So now we're going to put a ratchet. Uh, you're going to want to use a longer ratchet because it is pretty tight. So let me go get a ratchet and we'll be right back. All right, so here we are. We got the super long ratchet. Snap on. Um, but anyway, it doesn't have to be snap on. Just try to make it a long ratchet. Just to make it easier on yourself. I'm gonna try to set up the camera so you guys might be able to see me. I'm gonna try to turn it. And it's not. You know what, we're gonna 
have to really adjust these. Line them up with the these. Line them up. I mean, it is a pretty cheap tool, and I guess this is what I get for buying cheap tool. But it is what it is. We'll get it done. Just take some time and patience. There we go. Look at that. Just needed a little bit of a persuasion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Alright, so here it comes out. For some reason, this, uh, this uh, thing is kind of corroded. A little rusty, if you ask me. There it is. For some reason, it's kind of rusty. Oh, well. Uh, I'm gonna get a vacuum real quick. Let's vacuum out all this uh, dirt. You know, because we don't want dirt going into our into our gas. All right, so. Uh, to take this out might be a little tricky because these hoses are being a pain. Quite a pain, actually. I'm just gonna hold it there, so that one's gonna hold right there. And just take this out. Try doing this with the tank not full. Mine is about a quarter full, so I still have something. Right here. There's a C clip. This hole should come off. See if it's in the way. Alright, so I had to kind of fast forward a little bit just because uh, we were having some technical difficulties. But, as we can see inside the tank, there's the tank. There's going to be three hoses uh, in addition to the ones um, that you just took apart. So you see right there, there is two hoses that I guess are just like breather hoses, which would be this one and this one right here. These two, they just go snapped into these little retainers right, right there and there. They just go snapped in. The only one that actually goes uh, uh, kind of pressed in would be that one. This one right here, as you can see, but it's just a tab you press in and you pull out. That's the one that goes right on top of the normal pump, it's right there on the nipple. Uh, when I get everything out of the way, and it should come up. We'll just put it in this bucket right here. I was gonna pour some more out to save my gas, but uh, it starts spilling everywhere. So now I gotta dry it up before it catches on fire. So now, here comes the hard part of actually uh, taking this apart and putting in this. All right, so here we are outside. Uh, we got everything almost ready. Um, so I basically did everything because this took me a, quite a long time. It took me at least an hour um, To heat up a knife like for example this or it, I did have a Kind of like box cutter one a thinner one uh, That one worked really good until it bent. But I heated it up and you basically want to take off these tabs that are basically uh, welded or like made or glued or something onto the casing so you basically just heat the knife up and cut what was glued this top cover came off pretty easy 
Uh, that was no big deal. The harder part was the bottom one right here, which this one I got really. Uh, I did the first one okay, which was the easiest one, which is this one. Lots of clearance right here to put the knife in, the exacto knife, everything. Now, what became hard was these over here because they're right next to the little column right here. So that one ended up breaking, and that one took me forever. So I just ended up cutting uh, with the Dremel this one right here but that's how you want to do it and then this will come out just like that um if you have a little bit more patience or a better knife uh you can really cut it out as you can see this one came out really clean uh but then again it was a lot easier to take out so it's all up to you uh there shouldn't really be a difference with uh this hole here just because the whole thing is going to be submerged either way um, so now what we're going to do is uh, switch the wiring. So as you can see, I already cut the pigtail off the original one because we do want this connection and we want to splice it into the new pump, which we're not going to cut this one up because it does come with a nice harness. So we're going to connect these two together and just connect this into the plug and that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll fast forward right now. So we're back and this is how we're looking so far. So you're gonna need uh, this right here, this adapter from Russell. They make uh, really good fittings for all sorts of stuff, which is basically this. Um, and you also need this elbow, um, which, where is the part number for the elbow? Uh, you know what, there's no part number for it, but I'll make sure to leave it at Amazon, link down below in the description. So you need this elbow and this fitting right here, because as you can see, this fitting right here is the exact same one as that's on the pump. Uh, they also do sell one little kit. It's like uh, $50, $30, I think. I forget who sells it, but it's literally like a 90 degree bend right here. And it's a lot shorter distance, but this was like $3 and $3 and a piece of hose I had laying around. Uh, so probably like $10 max. Uh, so this is gonna go inside here. Uh, like so and then we're almost there to start bolting everything down all right so this is how we look like now uh, you can see we put the filter on the bottom you cut it like this I'll put a link down below in the description of how you're supposed to cut it but don't cut the whole thing make sure you leave these uh, this side right here just so it gives it some 
space and so that the float does not bottom out or else you're gonna get bad readings so put the filter that comes included like this uh, make sure to put the outlet towards this backing plate right here see how it's like that and as you can see you put the plastic on and slide it down and it's right there secure now what we're gonna do is what I saw is they drill it right here a small little drill and zip tie it I think you could leave it like this because it is pretty solid but just in case we're gonna put a few zip ties and we'll be right back but this is how it looks so far uh, pretty solid and yeah now we just gotta reroute the wires as you can see I rerouted that one there and I believe this one went over here and around but yeah that's pretty much it once you take everything apart and and um, we just take everything apart and put it back together and now it's pretty much easy now it's just like replacing the fuel pump um, but that's how it looks and we'll be right back all right guys so this right here is the finished product as you can see wiring is all in uh, the hose is right here uh, it looks like it'll be in the way but it actually bends quite a bit so it is compressible so that's okay there and as you can see it's not that much of a bend either way um so there's that and you can see it bends quite a bit uh but we, we don't need that much um that's pretty much it the wiring's in everything's hooked up now all we gotta do is put it back in all right so here we are inside the car everything's pretty much in i'm kind of squeezing this last uh bit inside being careful with the float we kind of have to tilt it in Some way, some way, somehow, it's supposed to go inside like that. So we just tilt it. There we go. Get a little bit of light. Set. Awesome. And this obviously goes into there. Alright, so I'm going to try to show as best as I can, just because, but you'll see this hose is going to go onto the special nipple we put, and I should click right on, so it's basically the same uh, exact thing, you can see, that's solid right there, I'm not going anywhere, and the, the rest of the hoses just go how you found them, you know, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory, and uh, then just feed the rest inside until it is flush with the rest like so and like so So we finally got it in. Took quite a while. I guess now we can put the ring back on. All right, so we put everything in. Pump is in over there. So before we put the seat back on, we are going to turn it on. Hopefully it doesn't explode or anything. And here we go. There we 
everything seems to work. Uh, gauge is reading where I was reading before. It was about there. So that's good and that's good. So we can turn it off. It's uh, here for the pump again. Honestly, you can't really hear the pump. But that's it. That's the stage two pump installed. Now we can put E50 on there. And we should be ready to go. The rest is just easy. Just put back the seat. Put that thing back. And tighten up these bolts. And you're set. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.